right, we are doing math. All right, I am writing a problem on the board and I want you all to tell me what you see different. What is different with this equation that we have not seen before in the math problem? What is different? Christian. There's a letter instead of a number there. What? <laughs> Since when do letters show up in math? Letters are for reading. So what we're going to do, we have a mystery. We need to figure out what number N represents. Hands down. And there is a way we're going to go about this. Fun. So the first thing we're going to do is talk about opposites. Because when we are working on problems like this, we are going to work with opposites. What does opposite mean? In math lingo, what is the opposite of addition? Cole. Subtraction. Subtraction. What about multiplication? Grayson. Division. Division. What about subtraction? <coughs> Machine. Oh. Yes, addition. And what is the opposite of division? Luke. Nope, not subtraction. What is the opposite of division? Grant. Multiplication. Multiplication. Very good. So, we have n plus 7 equals 2 times 6. What kind of a math equation is that? It's kind of silly. So, what we are going to keep in mind is we are going to work with opposites. So, the first thing we're going to do, friends, is what we know. We don't know what's going on over here. So, we're not going to worry about this right now. We can work on this because it's a known factor. What is 2 times 6? Owen. 12. 12. So, as I am working on this, well, we're, we're working on it together because this is already in your book. So it's 12. We know that this is a given. All right, so here comes the opposite. What is done with one side must be always done on the other side. So if I do something on this side of the equal sign, I have to do it on this side. Okay, it's always you have to do the same. But now we're going to work with trying to figure out what our mystery number is. So we're going to subtract... 7. And then if I subtract 7 over here, what am I going to do over there? Owen. Beautiful. All right, so what is 12 minus 7? M. 5. All right, so now we have a quandary. We have a plus and a minus, which just takes that out because it turns into what? Zero. Zero. So now we take the little n down. What is n? Oh, we have an answer. The mystery is solved. Dun, dun, dun. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Grant. N equals 5. Yay! So let's check this equation. So if N equals 5, in order for us to check it, what do you think we might do? What is 5 plus 7? Jonathan? 12. 12. And we already figured out that 2 times 6 is what? 12. So that checks out. So when we have a mystery number, 
number or letter. We need to figure out what that mystery is. So we need to remember to do a series of actions. So we're going to start again with the 2 times 6. This marker is not working well. We're going to work with what we know. So we're going to go, we don't know what the n is. So we're going to go over here and work that side first. And then we go over here and do the opposite. And do the same. And voila. And you have to get rid of the seven. Let's work on another one. Is that thumbs up if it makes sense? It's kind of fun. If it doesn't make sense, we're going to work on some more just like this and hope we'll get it, okay? So thumbs up if, you got, if you're not sure. Thumbs up if you're not quite sure. Okay. All right, let's do another one. This is a very different concept that we have worked on as so far. So I would expect this not to be as clear as glass, but clear as mud. Does that make any sense? <laughs> All right, so glasses on. All right, let's solve, let's work on 2a. So we have n minus what? Two. 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 And then we have the equal, and then we have four plus what? Two. Two. All right, what are we going to work on first? Because we don't know what that is. It's a mystery. So what are we going to work on first? What's going to be our first step? Christian. One plus two? Yeah, you're going to do what you know. So we know that four plus two is what? Grant. Six. Six. Very good. All right, so we know four plus two is six. That's what we know. So let's go back over here try to figure out what our mystery is. So n minus 2. What are we going to do with that minus? We're going to we're going to change that. Gabe. We're going to change it into a plus. Yes. Very good. We're going to turn it to a plus because remember you do the opposite. So that is bye bye because 2 minus 2 is what? Zero. Zero. What is six plus two? What is six plus two? When Sheen? That. <gasps> Has the mystery been solved? Yeah. We're gonna move the n down. N equals eight. Let's check it out. So, oops, sorry. What is N now, friends? A. Yes. So we're going to go back to the original. And I did it again. <laughs> sorry. Um, eight minus two equals six. six. Very good. And we know that six, four plus two equals six. Six. So it checks out. Does anybody want to come and try and work one out? I'll help you. Grant. together and we're going to help Grant on C, which is what? What, are, what is the mystery letter? Y. Y. Why is it a Y indeed? Let's find out. So Y plus what? Three. Three. 
All right, so Grant, what is the first thing you're going to do? Right, that's what you know. You know the six times two. Very good. So we worked the six times two. That was what you know. Now, how are we going to find out what the mystery is? Opposite. Beautiful. So then you can draw a line between the threes because that, that just gets rid of each other, right? Three minus three is zero. So let's put a big... All right, so now, oh, have we figured out the mystery? Sort of. No, you have one step to do, right? What do you have to do? Remember, if you do something on one side, you have to do it on the other. So you did subtract a three from this side. So then you have to subtract three from 12, correct? So now do we have a mystery solved? Yes. yes. What is the mystery number? Yes. And then six times two. No, you were right. Yeah. Why don't you do it up here? So put the nine up here. There you go. Close. There you go. Good. And then go over here and do the six times two. Very good. Does that check out? Yeah. It does. Very good. So, 9 plus 3 equals 12. I'm just copying over yours, my dear, because your marker is kind of 6 times 2 equals 12. They check out. Very good, Grant. All right. Do I have another brave soul who wants to venture into the mystery? <laughs> All right, so is it becoming a little clearer the more we do it? Yeah. yeah? Okay, you are all following along in your books, correct? Yeah. Because you need to also work the steps. Don't just watch it up here. You have to work it also in the, bo in the book. Because if you do it, that's going to help you visualize and understand it. Because there are a few steps. All right. I need my book. I don't have my numbers. Or my letter. All right, what is the mystery letter in C? C. C. Be brave. B plus what? Nine. Equals? Eight plus seven. All right, please work with the, what's up, up here on your book as well. I need you to be working on your book as well. Christian. What are you going to do first, my friend? Because we don't know what B is. That's the mystery. So what do you know? Um, A plus, plus 7. Very good. Nice. All right. So now we're going to move over into the mystery. Very good. So... We are going to do what? Nine minus nine is what? That gets that gets out. So you need to put an X or a line on that. There you go. And then we moved over and subtracted um, nine from fifteen. Is that what you did? You need to write that down though. You have to write not minus nine. Show your work. There you go. So now you move the B down. Like a six. You can use the eraser if you want. All right, so B equals six. So check out. So put, you want to, you can put it down here. So now put six plus nine. Mm -hmm. 
and 8 plus 7. Beautiful. Do those check out? Yes. They do. Nice job, Kristen. Very good. They check. All right, so with this, with the mystery number, you have to just go through a few series of steps. You work with what you know, then you work with the opposite, which if you are adding at first, then you're going to subtract. And then you are going to find, figure out the value, and then you check. So you series of events helps us to figure out the mystery. Even math has mysteries. Very good, friends. All right. Erase the board. This board is getting quite yucky and smeary. I need some cleanup. All right. Let us move. So we did all of that. Did you all work on the problems in your book? Yes. Good. All right. Together. We're going to turn the page and we have a cute little shell. So I am going to give you a problem and you are going to write it inside the shell. So listen carefully and discern whether it, what kind of problem it is. Is it multiplication? Is it division? Is it addition? Is it subtraction? Everybody ready? Yeah. Okay, bless you. On their walk along the shore, Dad picked up 12 shells. This could be the Zillies right now. Yeah. Should I put their names in there? Yeah. Jack picked up five. Ella picked up three. How many shells did they pick up all together? Did you guys get the numbers? You want me to repeat them? Yeah. You'd write it in your book, not on your... Is it, what kind of a problem is this? Are we working in what? Addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division? James. Addition. Yes, because we are trying to figure out what the numbers equate to in total. So it is an addition problem. What is 12 plus 5 plus 3? I want, I'm going to wait till everybody's hand is up. Twelve plus five plus three. Cool. Yes. Beautiful. All right. I could put the, I'm not going to. All right, so let's do number four. This is tricky. Well, not tricky, but it's, uh, we haven't really worked a lot in half dollars. So we're working in dollar signs. If we are working in dollar signs, what do we need to be mindful of? The answer has to contain what? Jeremiah. Yes. And what do you have to be mindful to match up? The commas. What is in a dollar a dollar equation? Um, uh, Jonathan. Decimal? Yes, the decimal point. Very good. Okay, how much is a half dollar worth? What is a half dollar worth? That is what we need to know, right, Tyson? It's in half. As a normal dollar, so it's 50. Beautiful. A dollar is 100. Awesome. Who has seen a half a dollar? They're like a big quarter. 
They're not common, they're not that common anymore. So that's why I'm reviewing this with you because they're not really in our currency that much. So yes. I have two of them. Yes, Jeremiah. Um my dad, um, I think owns a recycling company, so it's very waste systems. Um and um he he we have ton, we have tons of coins and stuff in our basement, like jewelry and stuff. Mm -hmm. And we and he found like like thousands of half dollars. Wow. So, now that we know what half dollars are, they're worth 50 cents. How much is three half dollars worth? And what would be a more expedient way to figure this out? Instead of adding 50 three times, what might you do to have a quicker, uh, get to a quicker result? Olivia. No, that would not be the quickest. What might you do instead of adding? What could you do? Christian. Um, you could do 50 divided by 50 times 3. 50 times 3. Bingo. Ding, 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 ding. 50 times 3. What is 50 times 3? Bing. Yes. How would I write that? Uh, dollar sign one decimal point five zero. Perfect. All right. What about four quarters? What are four quarters worth? What are quarters worth first and foremost? A quarter is worth what? Any? Twenty-five cents. So we have four quarters. How much is that worth? Four quarters. Luke. A dollar. That's right. So how am I going to write the dollar? Do I need to line anything up to make sure it's correct? Jeremiah, why don't you come up and write the dollar in the correct way? Now remember, you don't have to have the dollar sign with each number, but you do have to match something up. Here, I put it up here underneath the 150. There you go. All right, so are they, at, are they lined up? The decimal point's kind of lined up, but In order for it to line up, you are correct in how you wrote it, but we have to make sure when we're adding, uh, I'm gonna throw this one away. When we're adding, remember the positions have got to be lined up, correct? Otherwise it's going to be impossible to get the correct answer if your numbers are not lined up. See that? One, 10, and what is this position? Christian. Thousand? No. Um, 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 wait, um. You were saying it. If it were written like this. Hundred? Yes. Very good. The decimal points were messing you up. All right. All right, so what about dimes? What are dimes worth? Emma? 10 cents. 10 cents. So how, what would ten, our 12 dimes be? 12 dimes. Christian, why don't you come and, or not, yeah, Christian, come and write it. Sure, you line up. Good shape. 
What is zero plus zero plus zero? Zero. Zero. <laughs> zero. I wish the teacher was adding. What is five plus zero? Five. five. Plus two? Seven. What is th one plus one plus one? Three. Three. All right. And what do I have to add to my final answer? Luke. What do I have to add to my final answer to 3.70? What does that need to make it show that it's a dollar equation? What does this need, Luke? What is this missing? A dollar sign? Yes, a dollar sign. Very good. All right, friends, we are going to do one more story, the brain booster. Let's do this together. There's the word, see the little brain lifting the weights? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are four tables in the lunchroom at Victory Christian School. Each table has eight chairs. How many chairs are in the lunchroom? Write your answer in the workspace, please. The whole equation. Jonathan. 32. And how did you come about that answer? Uh, 8 times 4. 8 times 4. Very good. Everybody write that in their workspace. Now, what I want you to do on your own is fill in the missing signs on page 6. I mean page 6. On 6 of page 112. I want you to work on that on your own. So work with that, and when you get done with that, you can go up to the multiplication. I am going to walk around, and if you need and help, please raise your hand. But work on, yes, boy. So what you're going to do, friends, is I want you to do six first, because that is something that we haven't worked on as much. We've worked on a lot of multiplication facts, so do six first. Fill in the missing sign. Is it a division? Is it a subtraction? Is it a multiplication?
All right, friends, homework. Get out your planner. Now I want to, you to listen carefully. I'm not going to give you homework from the book. I am going to have you, and you have to be on the honor system, because I'm not at your house. So I don't see what you do. But I want you to work on your multiplication fact. Fact for 10 minutes. Now, why do you think that is important? Boy, what's that? Why do you have to continue to work on your multiplication facts? Christian. Practice, 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 practice. <laughs> and we are doing division. I say it over and over. You have got to have your multiplication facts down really fast. So the only way you're going to do that is to practice. So I am not at your home, but I would suggest you do them with, obviously with somebody in your family. And then your parent needs to mark down on your planner that you did it for 10 minutes. Okay, so the multiplication fact for 10 minutes is your math assignment. Homework. Now, I am going to be doing this once in a while because I still see that some of you do not have your multiplication fact down especially when we start working on division. Would you say true or false? Multipl or, uh, division is easier when you have your multiplication facts down. True. Yes. So please, friends, I shouldn't even have to make this homework. This should be a given every day. But today I'm going to have you do it for 10 minutes at home. Got it? Got it. Yep. All right.